and how he speaks about things and without having the facts is something that I quite admire because again like I said to myself I try not to speak out of turn about things I don't know about I try to uh, use my words carefully and I try to <laughs> just be considerate sometimes I don't know all the facts but for whatever reason Brendan just flies off the seat of his pants and I fucking love it it's absolutely incredible to watch him go full speed not aware that he might sound like a redact or not aware that he doesn't necessarily enunciate his words correctly or not aware that he sometimes doesn't know anything that he's speaking about I fucking love it it's one of my it's one of the funniest things about Brendan to watch him from afar so this is him at the start of the short show um deciding that he knows something for a fact and then finding out that it's not a fact and then arguing um about the fact absolutely beautiful What's up, fam? Monday morning, October 17th. It is a glorious morning. Shout to Jesus Christ. What is happening? Um, yep, I'm dressed like Mr. Rogers today, like a hype beast Mr. Rogers. Did Mr. Rogers drink on the show? He sure did. Oh, that's a heavy pour, isn't it? That is, sir, a heavy, heavy pour. What's the time that they filmed that show? I'm assuming they film it when, like nine o'clock, maybe seven, maybe because he before after he drops the kids off at school, drive over to the studio. That's a heavy pour, brother. Heavy, heavy pour. Can you? Do people generally get pulled over if they're tipsy in the morning from drinking, like in the states, or is it usually police are only out at night time when people come back from clubs and bars? Because I find it interesting how they never get pulled over or you never hear stories of these comedians getting pulled over even though they do podcasts in the morning and they all drink and i don't think they take ubers back home they all drive their sports cars today i don't know like like what is it about that or is it because they're white no one gives a shit if you're white and you're driving a fucking purple car but if you're black and you're driving a black car nino nino but jesus that's a heavy pour sure did it was just off air he was hammered 90 percent of the time he's he enjoyed his life chatting about snotty nose kids and sit, have him sit on his lap and shit in that beat down basement oh look look you know he was oh oh look 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 something i just realized someone in the comments someone on the comments right i think it was a picture of him what picture was it of oh no i think it was a video that brendan did where he's trying to take the piss out of um callan right and in the video he's trying to take the piss out of callan and I thought, you know, for Callan getting ma married again, and he's basically saying, oh, your wife is going to be a gold digger. And it's just, you know, he's trying to be funny, but it doesn't come across funny. It just comes across mean. And anyway, in the comments, I remember seeing the video of them watching it on the podcast. And one of the first comments underneath it was like, oh, uh, your beard is not like, uh, what did someone say? No, your moustache, your moustache needs to be shaped up, like one size longer than the other. And when you, once you see it, you can't unsee it. So I guess when Brendan shaved this that morning, he tried to correct it, but then if you see, he's still a little bit off. Do you know what I mean? He's clearly tried to correct it, but it's still quite off. Like one side is a little bit closer to the corner of his mouth than the other side is. Because I think you're meant to always go like this, right? That's what you're meant to do. You're meant to just put your fingers on either side and then kind of shave that way. Or just figure it out and not shave them too long or too short. But yeah, one side is still longer. I think the side that was longer was the was the left, was the left his right-hand side, this bit here on the left to our screen. But that's hilarious. He did try to correct it, but it doesn't look the best. But hey, you know? Man, you? you know he was a sniper in the military, like one of the most decorated snipers. What? Dude was a savage. <clears throat> yeah, dude. You didn't know that either, huh, Mark? Murder. Yeah. What? Did you know that about Mr. Rogers, that he was a fucking sniper in the fucking Marines or something? What, in the army or something? What, <laughs> what kind of urban legend is that? Who told you that? Is that something you hear in a bar? Something you hear in a fucking MMA gym or something? Mr. Rogers was in the fucking Marines. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go. Yeah, please. Beast. Rogers, the host of international acclaimed TV show for children, Mr. Rogers neighborhood, served as a Navy SEAL, Marine War. Scout sniper during the Vietnam War. Ever heard of it? With a large number of confirmed kills. <laughs> he can't read he can't read the article says the the rumor that he was a navy seal is false and he read it like they were saying he was a seal <laughs> look at the article 
<laughs> we have to state it is false. <laughs> oh, he's brilliant. I swear to God, he's fucking brilliant. The state is false. Mr. Rogers never said about... Maybe like, that's like an urban legend then. Nah, dude. Uh-uh. That's real. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rogers was not a Navy SEAL or a Scout Marine sniper. This is a great urban legend, 21st century. Um, the rumors, what were the rumors that Mr. Rogers, the host of an internationally acclaimed TV show, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, served as a Navy SEAL, Marine Scout sniper during Vietnam era with a large number of confirmed kills. We have to state it's false. Mr. Rogers never served in the military. After another rumor, uh, Mr. Rogers always wore, wore long sleeve clothes to conceal tattoos of all his kills. <laughs> Yeah, dude, he had like a skull. He had like you know the hardcore, dude. This, this thing's full of shit. <laughs> this is NavySeals.com. Uh, the fact. This is NavySeals.com. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Well, maybe someone hacked their page. I want to be that confidently confident in the things that I say, even though they're incorrect. Does that even make sense? Confident and confident. I want to be confident in the things that I say, even though they don't make sense. I wish I could be like that. I really do wish I could be like that. Honestly. Because I think that's what we're all missing in our lives to be really successful, to take us to the next level. That's what we need. We need just to rock up into an interview and just say, you know, <laughs> just say the most outlandish shit. When we get questioned, we're like, like, honey, sir, sir, you can't question me. And also, yes, I did happen. I did save fucking kids from a burning building. Yes, I did single handedly pour my local businesses I was working in, you know, into fucking profit. Yes, I did. <laughs> what? Yes, I was responsible for all, securing all the accounts. That's what we should be doing. <laughs> oh, what a fucking legend, honestly. What a legend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love that he read, honestly, I love that he read this bit thinking it it proved his point. Where's the bit? This, yeah, he, he read it like it was proving his point. Let's play it again. Rogers, the host of internationally acclaimed TV show for children, Mr. Roger Neighborhood, served as a Navy SEAL, Marine War. Scout sniper during the Vietnam War. Ever heard of it? With a large number of confirmed kills. <laughs> or oh, Marine sniper during the... We have to state it, it's false. And he reads it like it's a true statement. Oh, never change, man. Never bloody change. I swear to God, this guy is absolutely amazing, man. One of the best... One of the best to ever do it. Let's get this off of the screen.